Hey everybody, welcome to Tony's Pizzeria. I'm your waiter slash owner, Tony. Uh, we're talking about CBR today. If you don't know what CBR is, I'm going to teach you. The year is 1995. We're in the throes of comics with big chests and big other things. Jonah Weiland, a fan of DC Comics, decides to found a forum to discuss the Kingdom Come event. This became known as CBR and was eventually, in 2016, sold to Valnet Inc., a pretty sketchy behind-the-scenes overlord that runs a bunch of similar sites, namely Screen Rant. Now, I'm not sure if this is why CBR has sort of taken a nosedive in recent years, but considering Valnet owns Screen Rant and a bunch of other similar weird websites that aren't too great, I'd place money on the reason for CBR being a pretty bad website is because of Valnet and their editorial. But hey, maybe CBR was always garbage. I didn't read it before 2016. I, I only really started reading it this year. But uh, anyway, that's the history of CBR. So yeah, CBR, the comic book news conglomerate thing that posts things that are oh so great. So what do I think about CBR? Obviously by the title and the thumbnail you you, you realize that I don't I don't like CBR, but I should probably tell you why and stop treading water and wasting time with this video. So let's do that. So first off, their site is riddled with ads, which just slows down everything and is just irritating. They have that that cheap click through thing where you have to cycle between multiple pages to read an article that could have easily fit on one page just to get more click through. You know, classic shenanigans like that. That feels like the Valnet influence. But again, I don't know if they were like this before Valnet. They could have been. Who knows? No one was around before 2016. I'm not going to say too much about the design of the site. It, it does feel a little messy to me. It was messier in the past. They went through a redesign at some point. I think maybe last year or maybe even when Valnet bought them. I don't remember. I think it was actually when Valnet bought them because they relaunched in like April of that year or something. Anyway, the point is the design of the site is fine. It's just the ads that sort of clutter everything up. And that's just a general criticism of websites like this. Um, but yeah. Not really much you could do there, you gotta make money somehow. Maybe just make it tasteful, instead of throwing 14 trillion ads on your website. I'm gonna stop talking about the ads now, cause that's murky waters. We're gonna talk about their policy on spoilers, or lack thereof. I got some notes here, like I always do on Orms Forum, so I don't lose track and ramble for 20,000 years. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. iPhone. By the way, pretty much all the examples of the bad articles that I'm about to talk about were provided by you, baby bald boys, over on the Discord thing. It's an unofficial, official Discord. I didn't start it. Some dude started it. <laughs> Here's an article from the day Infinity War came out. You know, that movie that the, the directors of the movie posted a, a fun tweet that was like, Thanos demands your silence. Don't talk about spoilers. They're not gonna shoot anyone, they just want people to enjoy the movie. So, you know, don't spoil anything. But CBR here, Big Newsman, posts, How Bruce Banner Returns to Earth in Avengers Infinity War. The day that Infinity War came out. Now, you could make the argument that this title in and of itself isn't spoiling anything, because in the very early trailers, you do see Hulk running around with everyone, uh, and they do change things, but still, like, for someone like me who only watches the first teaser and tries to avoid all trailers altogether because I don't want to be spoiled by anything, why post such an article the day the movie comes out? And the article does go into great detail describing the ways that Bruce Banner comes back to Earth in Infinity War the day that the movie came out. So like, what's the point? Like, what's the audience you're trying to reach here? Are you trying to make people not go see the movie? You're not promoting anything with this article. You're just saying, here's a plot point from the movie that you're about to see that came out today. There's no discussion here. We're just telling you what happens in the movie that came out today. Here's another one that's not too great. It's titled, Another Spoiler Joins the Hunt for Wolverine. And they have it marked spoiler tag. So that's great. You're thinking, oh, maybe CBR isn't gonna just spoil literally everything in the comics that come out that week. Until you realize that in the link to the actual article, they just spoil the character that's joining the hunt for Wolverine anyway. What the hell was the point? In addition to that, in the little tab in, I don't know if this is every browser, but probably every browser, the first word title of the like tab header is the character that's joining the hunt for Wolverine. And then of course they get just, just ever so closer 
to being good about spoilers. Five days after Injustice 2 issue something or other comes out, they have this article. Injustice 2, the Green Lanterns recruit two of DC's biggest villains. Great. They are just talking about a thing that happened in a comic that came out a few days ago, but at least they're not spoiling it right off the bat until again you realize that they put the two characters in the link to the article. Oh it's not the tab header this time though, so... Kudos. So yeah, those are some examples of them just blatantly spoiling things days or even the day of release of content. Like, what are you- are you- Do you want people to buy these things to keep you in business? Is this news? Is just a thing that happened in a comic news? I feel like I would follow CBR to find out about things that are not out yet. Like, you know, if a new movie is announced or if a new comic book is announced or something like that. Not the thing in the comic that came out yesterday. Anyway, here's some more examples of just weird, stupid articles that CBR is just real proud of. They put them out there. Front page ad. Incredibles 2 has a lot in common with Marvel's movies. I haven't seen Incredibles 2 yet, but f no shit. It's <laughs> Incredibles is a series based on superhero comics and superhero movies. It was a response to the boom of, like, the X-Men and Spider-Man movies. Of course it's gonna have similarities to the source material. Why would it not? That's kind of the point. Here's a fun one. 15 Hulks. You want to smash. I don't... I like to imagine the writing process behind the guy who, who wrote this. He's just like, hmm. What am I gonna cook up for my lovely fans over at CBR today? Oh, I know. <laughs> Fucking sexy-ass Hulks. Jesus. I like this one a lot purely because it's just another example of them writing an article that at the end of it you're just like, yeah, cool, no shit. I, I feel like that's their motto, like, comic book resources, yeah, no shit. Anyway, the article is titled, Nightwing Director Praises Current Trajectory of the DCEU. It's just a whole article spawned from a single tweet from the director of Nightwing that's not really saying anything. Like, why would the director of Nightwing say anything other than the future of DC movies is good? That's like me saying that every other video after this one is gonna be shit, so you might as well not watch them. Why would I say that? That's conflicting against my direct interest. Don't- Who need- Who cares? Follow the guy on Twitter if you want to know about that. Don't write a whole article about it. Meet the Marvel fan who's seen Avengers Infinity War 100 times. This is filed under movie news. How do you have time for that, first of all? How do you have the emotional- strength to sit through that movie a hundred times. I saw Age of Ultron like maybe nine times in the theater and I don't fucking know how. That was just because people kept inviting me so I was like yeah sure why not. Also I'm just miffed that it's in the news section that's all anyway. More power to the kid who cares. And finally from the top talent over at CBR, Warner Brothers DC strategy is to make better movies. All right I want to make it very clear here that I'm not shitting on anyone personally over at CBR. I don't know any of them. I'm sure they're all great people working hard. I'm sure it's just a, a rat race to get clicks and shit just like it is on YouTube, just like it is in any other art form, creative, whatever. But there's a balance that maybe needs to be struck. Like, on one hand you're making a, a gaming video and putting boobs in the thumbnail, and then on the other hand, you know, you're just making art that no one's gonna see because you're not marketing it correctly. Find a healthy middle. Also, the spoiling shit, just stop. Just stop doing that. Who's reading those articles? If you're reading those articles, tell me. Are you reading the day one Infinity War spoilers? Why? Maybe I just don't get it. And I don't want to criticize the entire site. Like I said, sort of, at the beginning of the video, it's mostly just the news sections, the comic and movie news sections that really myth me. The CBR exclusives are pretty cool when they actually get stuff from the companies, like, here's the cover for blah 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 new comic that's coming out. That's cool, show us that. Because that's something that you are bringing to the table. Instead of like, here's a scene from Batgirl that came out today. So yeah, that exclusive section is really where I guess the content of CBR is and that's what they should have, but I guess because they're a news site and that maybe is what gets clicks, that's what they put on the front page and that's what they tweet out about and put everywhere. I don't know, maybe get some comic boys to write for you or do more interviews. They have interviews in their exclusive sections, which that's great. That's original content that you can't get anywhere else. I don't, I don't want to learn about the 15 hulks that I want to fuck. I don't care.
So yeah, that's my hot take on CBR. Are any of you bothered by this? I know when I initially tweeted about them a while back when Infinity War came out and they first like got on my radar of finally being just really irritating. Um, some other people were like, yeah, CBR is getting on my nerves lately too. So if that's the case, let me know. Who knows? How do you outro YouTube videos? I'm gonna plug a thing before I go. I normally don't plug things, but I feel like I should because I don't know, is that- people do that on YouTube, right? I've been streaming on here a lot more lately. I've been playing Breath of the Wild and editing, doing work, basically, live on the internet. So, turn your notifications on and it'll tell you whenever I stream. I stream on- here on YouTube, not on Twitch or anything. So, come hang out. We got some fun boys and girls that hop on and yell at me about things while I play games or edit YouTube videos for a living. So yeah, do that. Fuck off. There's a blood moon too, are you serious? He can't predict the future, what the fuck? This is terrible. This game can eat my shit for a living. <coughs> I don't know what else to say, so if you could kindly leave my pizzeria now and take it to go box, that'd be cool. Tell your friends. We got good quality meats, Hawaiian peats, and bada boom beats. Here's a beat. <laughs>